Hey, my lovies, what is going on? Welcome to your quick read. Let's go ahead and get you a quick read going to see what's coming towards you, what you may not see coming. We are going to use the Moonology deck. We haven't used it for a minute. Let's see what's coming towards you. We're just going to dive right in. We're sending you guys a multitude of love, light, and positive energy. As always, you know the vibes. Let's see what's going on. If you want your prayers on the previous video. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. What is going on with my Virgos? All right. Underneath the bottom of the deck, baby, believe in the impossible. All right. So something is going to turn around and it's going to happen in a way where you least expect it. Um, this is also giving me the energy of your hopes and dreams. Of course, we talked about that earlier. So check out that video earlier. Um, but I feel like this is an outcome that you really, really want. But it seems kind of unattainable. And I feel like Spirit is telling you, the more you believe in it, the more you envision yourself doing it, the faster it's going to come towards you. It's seeing is believing is the energy that I'm feeling. But believe in the impossible because something that you hoped for, intuitively, it's like you know you can get it. But in the 3D, it might seem unattainable. But Spirit is telling you that you just might get this. It's something that's coming towards you that you're going to have. Not even just might. It's telling you to believe because something can happen. All right. And the energy is gaining momentum. So something is about to happen fast. For some of you guys, this is something that you asked for. This is something that you asked for. And it's something really big. It's something really big to you. And I feel like whatever this is, It'll be life changing for you. I feel like it's something that's really going to change your life. And not only that, it's going to put you in the energy of being able to go after everything you want. Because it's like if you can have this thing and it actually comes into fruition, you're like, oh my God, I can have everything I want. I can really do this. All right. So I feel like whatever this is, whatever this wish is that's about to be granted, I feel like it is going to give you a boost of confidence that's out of this world. This is going to really open doors for you to really make your dreams come true. Um, and I feel like... <laughs> It's happening so fast. Um, let's see what else. All right, your dreams need a practical plan. So start getting things in alignment. Start putting things in order. All right, it's like get your affairs in order. Something is about to take place that you don't expect, but this is something that you wanted. All right, so get your affairs in order. Make room for this thing that you asked for. It's happening, okay? Okay. Yeah, the end of a tough cycle approaches. We got Taurus and Capricorn on the board. So this is my earth signs, okay? Or somebody could be definitely dealing with a Taurus or a Capricorn. But the end of a tough cycle approaches. So you could be just really dealing with something that got you going through the motions. And I feel like you're on the brink of ending that. Finally, you're coming to the close of it. Look at the bigger picture. See, this is telling you that you need to manifest bigger Focus on more. Know that you can have whatever this is that you're reaching for. And then walk th work through your fears. So something may have you a bit fearful. Not knowing the outcome. Unfamiliar territory. I'm getting both of those things. Um, but something is about to happen very fast. Don't be afraid. Trust in the divine. Trust yourself. What else is what's, what's happening here? What's happening here for Virgo, Summer, Rise, and Venus, and North Node? What's happening? Okay, so we got a loyal friend, the dog card, and then we got book. So this is somebody who wants to know more about you. This is somebody who wants to, and this could be somebody new that you've met, all right? And it's a stage of getting to know. Someone is saying, I'm an open book. Ask me anything. Look at the bigger picture and work through your fears. So don't tell yourself you can't have something. It's something here that you want. Believe in the impossible. So something may seem impossible. Maybe you say, well, I'm never where I'm supposed to be. I'm not going to meet this person. I'm not going to see this person. It's like, no matter what happens, it's like everything happens to get in the way of this. It's, it doesn't seem like it's going to happen for me. But Spirit is saying it can and it will. Somebody may even think that they're not going to meet anybody new. Yes, you are. It's right here. Let's see. What else? 
some type of new adventure. And the tree card, good house, positive outcome, a checkup. Somebody could be going um, to a checkup. Somebody can have a health concern and you feel like you're not going to heal from it. But believing the impossible is here and the end of a tough cycle is here, so you will. But for the majority of you, it looks like you're going to be meeting somebody new. And this is actually going to be a healthy connection. And you could be overthinking this, but Spirit wants you to look at the bigger picture. Because right now, you're very guarded. All right? So you're coming off very guarded. But the end of you having your heart guarded is coming to an end. Look, the end of this cycle with you having your heart guarded, so guarded. Look at this. It's like a gold plate around this heart. All right, and I feel like that's you because of the circumstances and the situations that you've experienced. Okay, I feel like, yeah, your heart is guarded. So, the signs we have on the table right now are Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Taurus. Okay, um, and look out for the waxing gibbous moon when you see this moon, whatever is happening, whatever is coming is is like right about to happen it's just about to happen i feel like it may even happen when this moon phase comes so check the moon phase usually i know which moon phase we're in um but i don't know at this time so check the moon phase when you see that waxing moon that's when okay i feel like that's when this is gonna happen wow or new moon we got three four moons on the board so, yeah, something big is about to happen. You're about to meet somebody new. We're going to find out more. Let's see. Yeah, an end of a tough cycle. Coffin card. Closing out a cycle. Mm-hmm. Woman. All right, so it could have something to do with a woman, a female energy. This could be you that I'm talking to for my Virgo lovies out there who are my divine feminines. I could be talking to you or I could be talking to our masculines out there who have their eye on a female or I feel like whatever had you guarded in regards to this situation, it's coming to an end with the coffin card. Um when you're having your heart guarded and not feeling safe to love and feeling very nervous, I feel like that is coming to a close. You're definitely about to meet somebody who possibly is a very stable connection. So let's see. For Virgo, someone rising in Venus the North Node. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, ancestors and spirit guides for covering us, giving us a clear and concise message for Virgo. It's the dog card. The energy is gaining momentum with somebody new. Nine of Wands. Standing your ground. Being confident. All right. You have firm boundaries set in place. But this is still somebody who is moving forward. Showing up. And ready, ready for battle. You're like, I got one more fight left in me. Let's go. Let's see what happens. All right. With this dog card. So it looks like you're going to be open. Open to find out what's next. This is somebody who has been through a lot. The Nine of Wands is talking about somebody has, who has really been through the battle, okay? Definitely. You've been through the long situations. You've been through the indecision. You've been through the energy of having to fight your way through. You've been through the competition. You've had to stand your ground for what you believe. You've really fought your way through to this point. And... I feel like this is it, okay? So somebody is saying, okay, let's go around. Let's see what happens. After this, I'm done. Like, if this doesn't work, somebody really is in that energy. Like, if this time doesn't work, I'm done. <laughs> I can't say that I blame you. But the Nine of Wands definitely is somebody um, representing somebody wise who has learned a lot from experiences in life, okay? Um, and they've learned enough to know how to protect themselves stand up for themselves all right so we have a king of pentacles energy here and this could definitely be you my taurus capricorn i mean my virgos but this could be a taurus capricorn or a virgo so somebody has this earth sign that really wants to get back with them and it could be a taurus or a capricorn or another virgo but 
Somebody wants to start something with you. Somebody could see you as reliable. <laughs> Somebody could see you as a good option, a good catch. More than an option. But this is somebody um, who has a good job, somebody who is stable, somebody who wants to get to know you better, somebody who thinks about you. Mm -hmm. um, this is getting to know energy, very new energy, definitely meeting somebody new. Um, this person actually could be guarded because somebody here is healing from heartbreak. So actually this new person that you met could very well be guarded. All right, so this may not be you, but I feel like this person is willing to start something like, and this could even be some of my males or my females, like wanting to go towards somebody and you're willing to try. This is willing to try. And actually you might be very happy at how things go. Somebody met a water sign as well, or you have this water sign that wants to get to know you better. But with the Ten of Cups, work through your fears, get to know somebody, open up a little bit. These cards are telling you to open up some. Hmm, tell me more about the fool. Yeah, somebody's waiting to see you again. Somebody definitely could be waiting to see you again. The Two of Wands means that somebody made a decision and now they're waiting. Somebody's waiting to see what happens. So you could have gave somebody your phone number. Somebody could have asked you for your number um, or whatever the case may be. And now you're waiting to see what happens. Somebody is excited about this new opportunity, meeting somebody new. You met somebody who was loyal, but you also met somebody who was a bit guarded. They have had their heart broken and they're healing. So let's see. Look at the bigger picture with the tree card. Ooh, it's a Capricorn. That you met, want to talk to you. Somebody wants to know how you're doing. Somebody could have this, somebody could have an obsession with you. Devil energy, somebody could be smoking or whatever the case may be. But this is the energy of getting to know. The page seeks what's not being shown on the surface. Somebody definitely could want to talk to you. All right. Somebody um, wants to get to know you better. This is the energy of talking. This is the sort of truth. So some this is the beginning of a new connection. Um, sharing ideas, exchanging plans, exchanging information. Um, and this is somebody finally getting up the nerve to talk to you. Let's see. What else is going on here? Wow, this could be somebody that you meet in your neighborhood or while you're out and about. This could even be somebody that you meet at your job. I feel like you're going to be out and about or in the community or something of that nature when you meet this person. But this is an opportunity for some new love or a new exciting connection. All right, this is an opportunity for a relationship also. The four of wands, stability. Wow, somebody could be trying to manifest you. Get this. Somebody definitely could be trying to manifest you. I feel like this person has already spoke to you. Y'all already exchanged information or y'all will. Um, but somebody is going to really be trying to manifest you. Somebody is going to be really sweet and charming, kind, or very charismatic. All right? I feel like this person is going to be saying all the right things. And you're going to be excited. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> but let's see this is saying your dreams need a practical plan all right and we got the death card in reverse so something that seemed like it was over is not over or somebody doesn't want something to end somebody could have thought they missed an opportunity with you if this is a Taurus, somebody ended something came to a close and this person wants to open this back up. They don't want it to be over. So you're going to be hearing from a Taurus possibly. Somebody is ready to put the burdens down with this Ten of Wands. It's been a burden not talking to you. It's like it's been really weighing on them heavy not talking to you. Somebody really wants to know how you've been doing, what you've been up to. And they've been feeling left out in the cold. Somebody has been. But this isn't over. They're saying this isn't over. They don't want to be out in the cold anymore. The Five of Pentacles is actually talking about somebody who is recovering, about to be recovering from 
this lack, this loss, or being out in the cold. Not quite yet. They're still out there, but... Oh, wow. Seven of Swords in reverse. So some type of secret... Some type of secret is going to be exposed or somebody, you realize that somebody was trying to get away with something. What is this? Oh, okay. So, somebody that was dealing with the Taurus, you found out that this Taurus was sneaky, all right? And their secrets got revealed. This is why they're left out in the cold. And something could have something to do with the water sign or their child's mother or something like that. This could even be your child's mother. But whatever this is, this person wants to reconnect with you. That's for a select few, all right? You could have found out that this person was trying to be sneaky. But somebody has this King of Cups that wants to get to know them. This person is waiting to see you again. Somebody here knows that you know your worth. Um... They didn't get a chance to get your information or they want your phone number or you want to give them your number. Something like that. But this is about the, this energy is about to resurface. Um, whatever this is, the last time you saw them, whatever happened, didn't quite get off the, the ground properly. But it's about to happen again. The universe is bringing this opportunity back around to you. This person could smoke weed. I feel like when, when they're outside smoking or something like that, they're going to see you. Something like that, okay? And for some of you guys, it's um, a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. And then for some of you guys, it's a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, this person is very cool, very collected. This person is very sweet, very kind, all right? And I feel like you like that. But at the same time, you're standing your ground, okay? This person could be very attractive or they feel like you're very attractive. And I feel like you and this person are going to talk. All right, you're definitely going to have a conversation, but somebody really likes you a lot, Virgo. They got their eye on you and they're trying to manifest this. They're look, they're watching to see if they see you, they're waiting to talk to you again. All right, so you might have said the next time you see me, um, or when we see we'll see each other again, or something, whatever you did, you left this person hanging and they've been waiting. Believe in the impossible. This could be something that really gets off the ground well. And this person can make you very happy. All right. So they're thinking about you, honey. Get ready because you're about to see this person again. And when you do, it's going to be your time to shine. Okay. Be strong and be confident. This is what spirit is telling you. This is what you've been waiting for. A brand new opportunity. And you're going to love this. Okay. You're going to like this a lot. All right, this is not cuffing season vibes. This is some new love type of energy. Okay, so get ready. <laughs> I feel like both of you are going to be very direct with each other. The both of you with this star in the middle, the both of you have had experiences. The both of you are healing through things have or healing from certain situations. Both of you are healing, but both of you are ready and both of you are attractive. People want you guys. So you two have a lot of the same energy here. You guys are going to be very direct with each other, okay? Sometimes these two can argue. It's like it's a match. Like you give each other a run for your money, all right? So these two, yeah, they time enough for each other. So I feel like you may have met your match here. <laughs> All right, my loves, that was your reading. Thank you guys for being here with me. I'm sending you love, light, and positive energy. If you want a book, book it closer to number two, mydestiny.com. Okay, my lovies, I will see you on the next video. Bye.